today I took a walk in the forest, and I am starting to believe that the trees like it best when it rains. When the fox woman has smelled the air in her knowing way and has tucked herself snugly in her den to stoke the fires and tell silent, ancient stories of the earth to her cubs, in myths and rhymes that our ears hear only as the magic we feel when we walk in the forest, in the rain. Have you ever sat in the forest, in the rain, so quietly that you can hear each individual droplet land in exactly the spot it was supposed to, as if that needle of pine, river-tossed stone, mossy decay has waited its lifetime for that drop of water landing with a soft thud of perfect and utter contentment in the spot it knows to be home landing with a sound that makes your whole body settle into itself with an audible sigh that whispers ten thousand answers in your ear and suddenly and for a brief moment everything 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 makes sense I imagine that while the outward-facing bodies of the trees sink into the bliss of non-doing, free of the responsibility to shade and hold, sway and shelter, that the roots slowly but with increasing intensity begin to shake themselves awake. Those closest to the surface start a chain of hushed tones, afraid to speak too loudly, afraid to startle away the rain. Their containment and their cautious control doesn't last long. Those of us who are not afraid to live as the roots down in the dark, down in the dirt and grime and mess, down in the underbelly of this perfect forest, we know as the roots what it really means to dance in the rain. I imagine they snake back and forth in a perfectly rhythmed and perfectly wild dance that the sun-drenched part of the world would find frightening. A tangled and intricate web of thirsting, pulsing, life-sustaining threads consuming the rain that filters through the dark towards them until they are bursting and dripping with life, the most ripe and juicy of fruits until all the inhabitants of the wild, dark underworld where they claim sovereignty have joined in their reckless abandon, have joined in their primal bliss. And all the while, all is quiet outside. Foxwoman smiles in her sleep, dreaming of this wild dance, and not so much a dream as a remembrance. And her cubs wonder how her face has all of a sudden in that moment become more beautiful in the forest, in the rain.